Hey, what's up, guys? This is RC. So, here to do a little bit of previewing on Iowa Hawkeyes and KSU, Kansas State University. Um, KSU is 2-0. and We're 3-0. and um, This is going to be a battle for us tonight. I don't feel it will be easy. Um, we're just going to have to see. But I do believe that they're going to put up a big fight. KSU were able to pull an upset last year without a Koya Lee. Um, this year, Akoya Lee is in the lineup, six foot six. She's going to be a handful to deal with. Defensively, we're going to need Hannah Stalky's best. We're going to need Sherry Goodman's best. We're going to need for players to truly, truly lock in on the defensive side of the ball, footwork, be mobile, contest shots, uh, because height-wise, Akoya Lee definitely has it. She can get buckets. Believe that. So, um, in my humble opinion, like I said, I'm powering through. Powering through when it's my teams. Um, definitely, I'm going to try to try to put out the content. You know, I love y'all Hawkeyes fans. All my Aces fans, what's up? Timberwolves fans, Pacers fans, what's up? But, yeah, I feel like Kaitlyn Clark, easily she going to get busy. Kaitlyn Clark's get busy. Kaitlyn Clark gets busy the likes of Juju Watkins. Let's put it like that. And Juju Watkins, she get busy like Kaitlyn Clark. Well, I know that's a I know that's a lofty, lofty goal to to, to um, put Juju Watkins to. But have you seen Juju Watkins play? That's not what this video is about. But in any case, both of these girls are extremely talented. It just so happens that Kaitlyn's been doing this for years. And so tonight. Wow, KSU will be trying to slow down Caitlin Clark. I think we'll be trying to figure out how to slow down Nikoya Lee. Also, don't sleep on Gabby Gregory. She's only averaging five points this year, but last year she averaged almost 19 a game. So you want to try to make sure that she don't get off tonight. Um, KSU is a dangerous team, and I don't know if they rank. But, you know, it looks like they have a really nice squad. Like I said, this is a team that was able to pull an upset on us last year. So we'll be trying to get revenge, of course. And the thing about it is I'm not going to talk too long. You guys know I don't sound my regular self. But, yeah, like I say, I try to push through. Try to push through. Um, so this is the Hawkeyes preview. Um, hopefully we will come out tonight with a victory. But I don't think it's going to be an a, a easy one. It's, it might be hard fought like the Virginia Tech victory was. Um, that was very hard fought. Um, this is not Fairleigh Dickinson. This ain't none of those teams. This ain't no Clark University. Got to take these opponents, opponents very, very seriously because um, they can hurt you and they can end up winning the game. And anybody can lose. You guys have saw that. Anybody can lose. You know, you've seen it happen to uh, – who it happened to uh, LSU. Um, it's happened to UConn. Utah just got upset. So, yeah, don't be playing around because you can definitely get that L hung on you real quick. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully tonight's game will be an interesting game, but not too interesting. You guys know how when I would be struggling, like at times, look like Virginia Tech had us kind of like, staggering just a little bit and man that bring my anxiety up when I see the other team playing good and we not but I know that basketball is a game of runs so I know that we'll be okay as long as somebody come out there and help help Caitlin tonight because three-point wise we've been struggling if you just check the statistics we've been struggling three-point wise hold on y'all let me have a sip of the water okay y'all so yeah um we've been struggling uh, we really been, been struggling three point wise. Caitlin's been making her shots. Uh, she's shooting at a high volume, but she gets the awesome and green light like Steph Curry. So, you know, so so she gonna make some. She gonna miss some. But I like to see Callie Furback get more of an opportunity because um, she's not shy to shoot the rock at all. Um, and I just want to see Hannah punish on both ends if that's possible. She need to stay out of foul trouble for it to happen. So, you know, tonight, I think the score will probably be in the 70s, mid to high 70s. Hopefully, we come out on top with the win. I don't want to do a prediction because I don't want to be wrong. 
I don't want to be right, but I will say this. I believe I had this penciled as a win for us. Like when I had the Virginia Tech pencil game penciled as a loss, I had this pencil penciled in as a tight win for us when I was doing the preseason um, non-conference talk. So with that being said, guys, this is RC. I will check you guys later. I don't know if I'll be back with post game. We're just gonna have to see. Um, but for now, that's it for this video. Catch you guys on the next one. Like, subscribe, comment. I'm gone.